What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I got an exciting one for you guys today. You're probably wondering why I'm back at IG Burton BMW here in Milford. But I got something extra special for you guys and it's right there. It's the brand new highly anticipated G90 M5. So let's jump in this thing. We're going to get a cold start. I have my F90 M5 parked over there in the lot. So we're going to pull this car over there, do a side-by-side -side comparison, kind of check it out. So stay tuned. All right, everybody, it's time for the first official cold start on the new G90 M5. Let's hear what this thing sounds like. Definitely hear that V8. You hear that? That thing definitely has some potential. Let's pull this thing down to the F90 M5, do a side-by-side -side comparison, go over the window sticker. Let's check this thing out. First drive in the new G90 M5. Check this thing out. This red interior is absolutely gorgeous, but we're gonna pull it down here to my F90 and see how these things compare next to each other. got a Smyrna green G80 that is a very unique color but yeah here's the F90 so let's get this let's get this side-by-side -side comparison started Here we are folks, the new G90 M5 versus the F90 M5, a battle of the M5s. Which one do you prefer? We have the new generation hybrid, still a V8. Thank you BMW for keeping this car a fire breathing V8. We know with a tune and some mods, this thing is going to be insane. But is it better than the F90 M5? There's been a lot of talk about the weight of this car. As we know, I think it's roughly over a thousand pounds heavier than this one. But is that the future? Is that the past? We're gonna find out today. Let's do a quick walk around review, kind of go over both cars, size, features, that sort of thing. So let's jump right into it. As you guys know, I was super excited to get the call that this car came in. Yes, I was driving myself crazy thinking, what can I sell to buy the new M5? I mean, would it make sense to have two M5s? I mean, we got the F90. This thing is iconic. 
It's one of the best generations of the M5, in my opinion, and it looks absolutely fantastic in this Rosso Corsa Red. But that's not what this video is mainly about. This video is about this new G90 M5, so let's take a look at this thing. The front end looks super aggressive. Check that out. We have air ducts. We have the light surrounding the grill, which is pretty cool. Let's take a closer look at that. As you see, we have the air inlets there. And if the biggest change, well, one of the biggest changes, obviously, it's a hybrid, right? Super heavy. And this car is really new, so we don't know how it's going to perform in the real world with mods. We're starting to see some reviews, some dyno numbers come out, and it's looking promising. But one of the features that I like is that they actually made the body on the new M5 different than the standard 5 Series. So we have flared out uh, fenders. We have flared out quarter panels. Again, reminiscent of the G80 take a look at that so here's the f90 m5 i mean she is a beautiful beautiful car can't go wrong with it but it would be nice if it had a little bit more you know junk in the trunk as they like to say this one definitely has it so as we move to the back take a look at how wide this thing looks back to the f90 Now let's make our way around. Again, here's the rear side profile of my F90. It's gorgeous, I love it. It's lowered, has wheels, AWE track exhaust, so it sounds menacing. And this thing, whoo! Here's the side rear profile of this car. I mean, she looks amazing in all black. Let's continue to walk around. We'll take a look at the window sticker, jump into the interior, cover some of the features in there. F90, G90, which one are you guys? I mean, wow, it's hard to pick. This car looks, I mean, my car is lowered, but this car looks bigger in person. I mean, take a look at the front end, how chunky that looks. This is seems like more of a sleek design. So let's take a look at the window sticker. Again, this is the highly anticipated 2025 M5 sedan. We have a base price of 119.5. We have driver's assistance professional, carbon package, executive package, M drive professional, carbon fiber, silver, whatever that is, I guess stitching, and Destination and gas guzzler brings us to a total of 131 125. So not too much different than the pricing on my F90. That car was uh almost $130,000 sticker. This one's finished in this beautiful red and black interior. Let's open the back door. Let's see here. The M5 baby. I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that door panel. Again, the red interior. I mean, that, that interior, it's very bright red. It's different than what they've used before. It's the back of the seat. As you can see, I mean, that that looks like Rosso Corsa in a lot of ways. And we have, as you go in, you see, we have the nice Alcantara headliner. Moving on into the car, cockpit of the car. We have the red stripe on the steering wheel. Nice chunky steering wheel that we're used to in the M car is a tri-color stitch. And what's unique is when you start this car, it's just an electric mode, right? You have to hit sport plus and you'll see the engine starts up. You see that? So that's pretty cool take a look loving this new look at that I mean, that's absolutely gorgeous it's got the M tri-colors in here moving down wow man I am truly impressed with this car you 
the Bowers Wilkins sound. Look at those speaker covers. I mean, that's gorgeous. We have the seat belts with the tricolor stitch. Looks like two phones can be charged at the same time. Here's the center console. Here's your gear selector, drive, reverse, park. The M logo inside this dial is very nice. Rear view camera clarity that we can expect. So let's jump out, pop the trunk. And let's take a look under the hood. I don't even know how you pop the hood on this thing. Oh, there you go, still two pools. So let's take a look at the trunk space. We got the charger. I mean, and this is, a lot of people gripe about this. I mean, it is a hybrid, adding a lot of weight. Uh, would I have preferred if it wasn't a hybrid? You know, it's hard to say it's so early, but initial impression is I wish it was just a juiced up version of that as far as the V8. Let's take a look at the trunk space. You guys see I got my BMW umbrella. So that's what you get in there. Seems relatively the same. Let's walk around. Open the hood up. I'm gonna open the hood on the F90 as well. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. We have the V8 lives on in this car. BMW M power, baby. That's what we all love. Let's pop the hood on the F90 now. Take a look at the interior in here. Wish I had red seats, but it's just black, that's fine. Wish I had a little pop of color in there. But as we know, and what we've seen so far, is despite that one being a new generation, this car is still quicker in stock form. So again, looks very similar. You know, BMW M Power engine cover looks the same. This one has a little bit of red. In it. Go back to. I need to clean under my engine. I mean, it's kind of dusty, isn't it? But hey, I mean, it's a daily driver, right? So let's take. Well, we got the like fabric under the hood on this one. It says M5. This is just bare metal. Nothing wrong with that. Again, let's take a look at the interior. door panels dash steering wheel love this new odd drive very uh modern looking again these seats nice bolstering and you know from initial impressions super comfortable super comfortable so let's jump open the door on the m5 the f90 i should say they're both m5s see the door panel let me move my hoodie Yep. These seats are very nice as well, super supportive, but the ones in here seem extra comfortable. It's a, I don't know why that door's not unlocking for me, but these, there's no, it's like um, just smooth, you know, you, like you just hit it. There's no click or anything, so that'd be nice if it had like the click of the button. Again, showed you guys the speaker covers. I think they're pretty cool looking. Let me get out of the sun rear seat nothing special back here i mean it's a rear seat right we have all your climate controls there this is pretty cool in the back of the seat with the opening and back to the f90 again i mean nice place to be don't get me wrong the f90 is a fantastic car but take a look at that interior shot of the cockpit now let's go over to the g90 see how different that looks 
yeah, very modern looking compared to the F90. Let's close this up, take one last look at these cars from the outside. Shut the hoods. Hood feels light. Well, I didn't shut that right, did I? Have to open that again and shut it. Let's shut this one. The hood on this one feels a bit lighter than that one when you're shutting them. Carbon fiber mirror caps. Carbon fiber roof. Let's see if we can spot any other carbon fiber on this. This is a nice touch here. You have the M logo. M5. Let everybody know. Oh, here's some more carbon fiber. And the diffuser is just painted black, which is fine. But let's shut this hood properly. Again, This the hood release on this is up under the dash. As we know, two clicks on them Beamers. Car comes with the hand cooked tires. That's new because usually you get the Michelins. You get the Michelins or you get the Pirellis, which we all dread getting the Pirellis. Uh, luckily, I got Michelins on my cars. This is new. We have the hand cooked Ventus S1 Evo Z, and it's a 285 4020. Let's see what we're rocking in the back. Where's the size at? Oh, here we are. It's a 295-35-21. So 20's in the front and 21's in the back. You know, I wouldn't have thought that was a 21. Because these are 20's. That's a 21. Huh. This car lowered, this new G90 lowered with spacers is going to look absolutely amazing. I mean, you got 21's in the back, 20's in the front. It's beeping at me because I have the key in my pocket. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The new G90 M5. The outgoing F90 M5. I want you guys to let me know in the comments, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the F90 still? Are you warming up to the G90? And I mean, it's a big, big boy. It's a heavy one. Are you guys warming up to it? I'm liking the styling. That front end is super aggressive. You see the... The grill's lit up. But wow. I mean, decisions, decisions. We have the plug here for the hybrid system. It's windy out here. Let me know what you guys think, man. I'm, I'm torn. I don't know. I mean, I love my F90. I don't think I could ever, ever sell this car not for a very long time. I mean, take a look at that, but I wouldn't mind adding this <laughs> to the collection. That's for sure. Let's do one more walk around. Just take in the beauty of these Bavarian beasts. I mean, they look amazing. There you have it, folks. The walk around of the new G90 M5 comparing it to my F90 M5. I got to tell you, part of me wants to bring this home today, but I have no space for it. I don't know what I would sell, but the best feature about this new G90 M5, I'm going to tell you, is that the car is available. Yes, you heard that right. We're at IG Burton BMW in Milford, and guess what? My man, Nate, 
right here is the guy that you're going to want to call. If you want to park this in your driveway, your garage, call Nate. Nate, my man, tell them how they can find you. Hey, what's up, guys? You can find me at IG Burton's website, IGBurtonBMW.com. You can also find me and follow me at LuckyLefty8589 on Instagram, or you can give me a call at 302-725-9555. That's my personal cell, and I'll make sure you guys go home in this vehicle. You guys heard it. You have his information. Don't delay. If you're on the fence, get off the fence because this thing is not going to stick around long. This might be the first and only review of the F90M5 versus G90M5. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Little bonus footage for everyone. Can't leave without checking out this Smyrna Green G80M3. This is a new color. Again, man, IG Burton is the king of individuals. Check this thing out. That is a very unique color. Let's check out the window sticker. As you guys see, we have a total of 101,875. This is a new LCI, as you guys know. But yeah, I had to stop by. I'm about to head out. This thing looks good. Smyrna green on a silver wheel. And we got blessed with the Michelins. Let's do a quick walk around. Yeah, buddy. Let me know what you guys think of this color, man. This is, I, I'm digging it. Something different, something different. But IG Burton, they're, they're like the king of the individuals. So give them a shout. You want a BMW, as I mentioned, phenomenal buying experience, phenomenal dealership. Hit my man Nate up. Maybe you'll be driving home in that new M5 or this Smyrna Green G80.